Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you where to unlock Shadow Pupil, Blood Hand, Blood Priest, Turner Spirit, White Shade, and Grave Digger during Rapid Respawn. If you complete all these entries, you will gain 130 charm points. If you follow my routes, you will also make a fair amount of progress on Death Blobs and some other assorted creatures, but they won't be the focus of this video. I'll leave timestamps to skip through the video if you're only looking for certain entries but we'll be showing the order that will hopefully be the most efficient. We'll be starting in Darashia Depot, and I will show my route. There are a couple ways to get to each area, but I'll be showing the route from each entry to the next in the order I would do them. Once you get to Darafia, you'll be heading to an area in the northwest. The room here is shaped like a devil. When hunting here, we will clear the shadow pupils up the stairs, then head down the stairs and make a circle around the room, killing all of the shadow pupils and other creatures. Once the room is clear, the shadow pupils should have respawned up the stairs. You can kill these, then repeat the process. This should allow you to complete shadow pupils in between an hour and an hour and 15 minutes. Also, during this time, you won't complete them, but you'll get approximately 300 Tarnish Spirit kills and 200 White Shade kills. We'll finish these off later in the video. You'll also get around 250 Death Blob kills, but they will not be completed in this video. You can check my video related to Mercury, Acid, and Death Blobs if you want to know how to complete them. Once you are done with the shadow pupils, you'll head back up the stairs and make your way to the east. Here you can find a pen that contains black sheep, horse, rabbit, flamingo, larva, pig, bog frog, and pigeons. These won't be the focus of the video, but if you need any of these entries, you can throw fire bombs here while working on the blood hand and blood priest. In this area, there are two sets of stairs we can find leading down to two separate rooms with blood hands and blood priests. The rooms are separated by a pool of blood, so you'll have to keep exiting and going to the other staircase to run between them. You can also find a grave digger on each side to start making progress on these. Both Blood Hand and Blood Priest will be completed here in about 3 hours. You'll also get around 4 and 50 kills on grave diggers during this time. Once you are done with Blood Hands and Blood Priests, we'll make our way back up to the surface of Drefia. Heading to the south, we will find a set of stairs that go down to enter into a different part of the cave. It is possible to get to this area by staying underground, as they are connected, but it's quicker to travel back up to the surface. Here, we will find a small room down the first set of stairs with two Tarnished Spirit. Heading down again, we will find one more Tarnished Spirit to the west, and another room with three Tarnished Spirit to the southwest. Sometimes, you may overkill the respawn slightly, this is the quickest area to finish off Tarnished Spirit. You'll also find quite a few mummy here if you haven't completed them yet. Hunting in this area will take just over an hour to complete Tarnished Spirit if you're starting from scratch. If you have hunted the Shadow Pupil spawn earlier in this video, you should only have to spend 30 to 40 minutes here. Once you've finished Tarnished Spirit, you can follow my route I was using to kill Grave Diggers and White Shades. There are lots of other creatures you can find along this route, but I was just focusing on these. To complete White Shade would take around 2 hours and 20 minutes using this route. Again, if you've hunted the Shadow Pupils earlier in the video, they would be done in approximately an hour and a half. Either way, these will be completed while working on Grave Diggers. Killing Grave Diggers along this route will take about 6 hours if you are starting from scratch. If you had completed the Blood Hands and Blood Priests earlier in this video, it would only be around 3 hours to finish off the Grave Diggers because of the previous kills you would have obtained. For the overall time though, if you were starting from scratch and killed all these creatures in the order I did, you'll get a completion time of around 8 hours to finish Shadow Pupil, Blood Hand, Blood Priest, Tarnished Spirit, White Shade, and Grave Digger. Hope this video helped you complete these entries. If you have any requests for future best jury entries you'd like to see completed, let me know. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments below. It'll go a long way to support me. Thanks for watching, and happy hunting!